And what about sex and St. Bede's? Oh, this is an all boys school. I was a randy adolescent. I had my first orgasm before I even came to the school. Uh, and that coincided really, it was soon after I'd become a Roman Catholic. So the whole thing of guilt and shame and sin and mortal sin and eternal damnation got really mixed up here. Uh, and it was difficult. I was a quiet, reserved boy, honestly. And uh, so we came here, that's some distinct memories. Going to confession, I remember my first ejaculation and, and trying to sort that one out and trying to confess that somehow it had happened. <laughs> I remember the priest, he taught me French. So I've forgotten his name. Uh, good chap, taught me good French. Uh, but, uh, and then it was a boarding school, but we were, it was difficult. You know, there was sexuality, we were boys and adolescents, but it was very suppressed. Uh, I had a memory before, I'd love to go back in the changing rooms where we're all very proper and prim, separate showers, none of this nudity, but there was John Heath, may he live well for a long life, who had a wonderful pride in his body. He was easily the most precocious and well-developed young man in the class who would go into the uh, changing room to strip off, get his shorts off and start wanking off his big cock. And that was wonderful, you know, because he would, we, we, someone would give a shout if Miss Edie Duggan was walking down. He, he liked to come down and make sure we weren't doing anything impure. <laughs> but John Heath had a wonderful pride in his cock and his ejaculations, which inspired me. Um, I think in the second year we had short trousers to I remember the surprise when the boy at the next seat in these wooden benches grabbed my cock a bit and, uh, and through the trousers. And that was quite fun. But otherwise, no, I never exposed myself at school. We showered with swimming trunks on and things like that. Except for John. Yeah. Um, I heard about the boarders and their relay races because I used to go there on a Sunday and never participated. So I struggled through school with purity, staying that way, but failed on a daily basis. But confession helped me. Relay races? Relay races are when the boys took it in turns in the boarders' uh, dorms. One guy would wank, and as soon as he came, the next one would wank, and opposite sides of the dorm would have a race. So yeah, it, it was a, it was how many, you had to get the ejaculation as quickly as possible, and that sounded wonderful to me. I think I might have to try it out now before it's too late. But uh, that fascinated me. One of these stories I heard about the boys. Uh, but having said that, you know, my recollection of the school was that sexually we were pretty naive, pretty well behaved. I wasn't aware at, at that time, not so much later, of, of abuse. And certainly between the boys, no. It was good adolescent fun. Cop fun, is it there? Oh, Father Le Morvan's chemistry class is the most incredibly boring lessons of all time. Father Le Morvan very intellectual guy, loved Théa de Chardin, was forced to teach us chemistry. I think he'd been sent to St. Bede's almost as a punishment. He taught us really badly. I discovered later on, I think he was having an affair with a married woman, actually. But what boys would do, and I never had the courage to join them, the back row of the chemistry lab was the wanker's paradise. It would be about half a dozen boys wanking off at the back of the chemistry class. And every time he turned around, they would stop. And then every time he went to one, wrote more rubbish down for us to copy. We never did a single experiment. We just copied notes and the lucky, brave ones went.